External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar engaged with the Indian diaspora in the Sweden to discuss the developments happening in India and apprise them about the progress in bilateral relationships with Sweden on the 75th anniversary of diplomatic ties between the two nations. Storm surges caused by Cyclone Mocha inundated the port city of Sitwe in Myanmar, killing two people and causing flooding and destruction. The storm weakened into a severe cyclonic storm over Myanmar, according to the India Meteorological Department. The National Investigation Agency continued its crackdown on terror funding in Jammu and Kashmir, conducting searches related to separatist and secessionist activities of the band jamaat e islami which has been found to be carrying out terror funding activities in the region even after being declared an unlawful association. Shiv Sena leader Sanjay Raut has been charged with creating discord between the police and the public by his statement, leading to a case being registered against him in Maharashtra's Nasik under IPC Section 5051B. Top leaders of Manipur, including Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, met with Union Home Minister Amit Shah in Delhi to discuss the restoration of peace and tranquility in Manipur, along with other issues such as illegal migration and the crackdown of the drug cartel. Rinku Singh and Nitish Shirana scored crucial 50s to lead Kolkata Knight Riders to a six-wicket victory over Chennai Super Kings in their Indian Premier League 2023 match. The win kept KKR's playoffs hope alive as they dominated the CSK bowlers with their aggressive batting and smart strike rotation.